Hi guys and welcome back to another Sonic Academy Tech Tip. In this one we're going to show you quickly how to warp a full tune inside of Ableton Live 8. I'm just going to begin by bringing in a song that hasn't been warped before. And the first thing it's going to do is analyze it and it's going to put in a new thing that they've, they've put into Ableton Live 8. It's going to uh, analyze it and put in transient markers. And these are basically where there's just a, a dynamic change in volume which could equate to a drum beat or a drum hit. Um, just helps calculate the tempo of the tune and helps us warp our tune just a bit quicker as well. So now that it's finished analyzing it, we can zoom in and you'll notice these be white markers. These are the transient hits. Um, basically, we can move these around just like warp markers. Um, but they're just ones that they've automatically created for us. So if we begin with, we just zoom in. If we highlight over the top of these transient markers, you can move them around if it's if they haven't hit in the right place. You can hold down the shift key and you can move them around by just clicking and dragging to the correct position. Or you can add in new ones by holding down Alt and double clicking. Or you can hold down Alt and double click on one to delete one. But what we're going to do is just scroll into the very first beat of our tune. And if I just go right in, you'll notice that we've got these the, uh, the familiar warp marker here at the start of the tune. We've also got a transient marker just prior to that. And we actually want this warp marker to start right here because it's just starting a wee bit late. The first hit of the drum is just a wee bit earlier than that. So if we just double click on that transient marker, and if we double click on the one that it created, we can just delete that. And we're just going to click on that warp marker and move it to the start of our tune. So we've got it at the start now. And if we right click on that warp marker, we're gonna to go to warp from here straight. It's gonna remove any um, warp points that it might have uh, automatically put in for us. And if we just uh, play this back, I'm going to play it back with the metronome here so we can hear it going out of time. Okay, so you can hear it the further we get towards the end of the tune, the, fur the quicker or the more out of time it is. So if we just zoom in towards the end of our tune and we find a transient, and we're trying to find a drum hit that is sitting out of where it should be. So this one here, for instance, should be snapped to this bar. And we can simply zoom in on that transient marker. And if we just click, move it to the right, that'll automatically move the rest of our tune in time. If we just zoom in, have a wee look elsewhere. All of our transient hits should now be locked pretty tightly. So we all listen back now with the metronome. Okay, so you can hear they're all locked in pretty tight now, and it's calculated it's BPM to be 128, which is correct. And uh, that should be it warped. And if we just go over to the left hand side now, we can click on our save button and that will save the warp settings for this track. So that anytime you bring it in in the future, it's gonna be automatically warped in time. Okay, so I hope this helps you get back into warping your tunes in Ableton Live 8. And I'll see you again in the next tutorial.